Alright, back in the archives. We have to get the safe residing in his crystal chamber. Serpents and crystal hollows defend the place with their lives. I don't even know if my shield can hit that one. Won't even let me lock on from here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Don't waste our time then. Gotta move on. Now the channelers are shooting at us. Make quick work of them. Their magic hurts quite a bit. Banish. Plentiful knowledge exists in the archives. I heard a servant behind us. Round two, he wants another piece of us. Magic. What does Grisaya want with us? The crystalline leggings and moonlight globes. Another new thing added with the mod. Down all of Xena sells all of these things. It erupts into a mesmerizing explosion of pure magic. It has a sparkly substance. Only the gifted could capture the fleeting essence of the moon. Its beauty became the perfect gift for the special someone. Oh, don't I have the gift to give? Here's your gift, Serpent. It only does 107 damage. In fact, you'll get three gifts of the Moonlight Globe. And then one of the magic. It's weak. I'm not even gonna try and get that chest on top of the bookshelf, it's not worth it. It's a blue Titanite slab. Archer. Rock. Another one. This is where they learn all their magic from. They follow and see the scale less. Not realizing they slowly lose their sanity themselves. Get out of here. Another one. We don't need two of those. Is there anything over here? Another chest. Ring of Sacrifice. Only proves helpful if we have too many souls to spare. And we don't want to lose them. I really love the sound that it, these things make when you turn it. I don't know why. As far as I'm aware, that sound is never used in any one of their games ever again. I think the closest is Bloodborne. Huh? She decided she had enough. 
This is what Season Sanity does to people. There's a chest over there, but before we even think about jumping this. This is the wise decision. Desire again. How much more magic do you need in your life? We've had enough of your desire. We found our way to the archive. Somehow got here before me. Hello there. I was expecting. This Were you? Truly magnificent. More than expected. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you and the secret of Seed's immortality. All right. What do you sell? More shooty spells. No. Crystal magic weapon and holy crystal soul mass. The only two that matter to us. Crystal magic weapon doesn't look good, however, I'm just gonna take the great magic weapon. Crystal magic weapon in Dark Souls 2 looks hideous. In fact, I'm willing to spend the souls on his spells just because of his quest line. Ah, the secret of Seath's immortality. If you were 40 and were in prison, you must know that the Seath is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, I haven't do the subtitles. and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. That was weird. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his eye, and it so happens. The primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the crystal forest. Brilliant. How do you know about this? How did he have time to go down there already? The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent. A great pool of knowledge. The fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say Seath had an unsound fixation. But his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful scaleless piece. I'll leave you be then. Come again. The knowledge oh. here is limitless. I would absorb it, then share it with you. Y y yes, you will. I'll become stronger. Nothing in here, just a bunch of books. I think Titanite. Let's go make that jump real quick. Okay, so it turns out that there was not actually a chest up there. So, we wasted some time. Although, we found this Mimic. Be gone. Enchanted Falchion. Pointless. To the Crystal Forest. Crystal Shield, one of the best defense shields in the game. It's overall a pretty balanced and rounded shield. No one here. Some golems. Rock. They're mighty. Powerful. Albeit very slow. If 
fragile crystal ring. Everything has a price, and so it comes at this ring boost the attack of its wearer while accelerating the degradation of equipment. How far will you go? Look at that damage increase, it's a hundred. It even buffs the shield. Now this is what I was talking about, if you want to make the crystal ring shield great again, you equip both of these rings, and it damage skyrockets by about 130. Might consider doing that, but not quite yet. I mean, the durability is going to go down a lot faster. Probably get that repair spell then. How do we not have a single repair powder? Let's explore these gardens. Excellent. The damage is worth it. break much quicker. But the potential is all powerful. Something that we'll need to make good use of. Nothing over here. What's the point of this garden? It's just a bunch of crystal golems and no items. What a waste of time. Let's head down. These are the caves that Logan talked about. The primordial crystal must be deep within. And vanilla, there's this really bright mist effect, which kind of gives this place a very magical feel, where here it's not as much. Although you do get the idea that it's quite cold. Part of the frost environmental effect in this mod is kind of my idea. Or rather, I did help with the ideas for it. I actually don't think it's going to happen because of the armor I'm wearing. But it lowers your equip load, slows down your stamina recovery speed. It's kind of annoying. But you know what? It fits. Another Mimic. Even weaker than the one we fought upstairs. A symbol of Avarice. Let's read about it. Monster head resembling a treasure chest. Once an ancient god. It is said that this is the symbol of shame imposed on a long lost clan, exiled for the sin of avarice. Wearing this slightly raises soul absorption and item discovery, but also affects its wear with the curse of the branded. Another one of Nito's ferrymen. Must bring us back to Firelink. A perfect checkpoint. Back at the caves. Now that we've replenished the rest of us, and assigned ourselves to prepare a spell, we should be safe and good to go. Worst case scenario, our weapon breaks. Do it. That jumping attack's gonna knock me off. I don't know what it is, but this always does this, where while you're walking along this, it just shoots you to the side. Not sure what the deal with that is. Funny of twinkling for our sparkling needs. So on the other side of this are the blue titanite slab with a ton of invisible platforms. One of the worst and hardest things to do in the game. 
I have no desire to. In fact, I don't even want to get that item. A lot of this is meaningless. That's a clam. Hooah! Nothing over here. Alright. That must be the primordial crystal. I'm a crystal of Xena hasn't had enough. Trying to stop us from getting there. But with the power of the crystal ring. Thou shalt not stand to oppose. Crystalline armor. More moonlight globes. And they draw twinkling titanite. How useful. They litter this entire area. There are the Bardies. At least now we know if we get Curse, we'll have Purging Stones. I don't think that's going to be an issue though. We have plenty of resistance as is. Try to repair our weapon before going in. There it is. The crystal. Let's smash it. Very pretty. He's agitated. I'm Heather Thief. Those scales can't be broken. Oof. Come then, Thief. Distracted. I need you to turn. Face me. Your true arc enemy. He's mad. S destroy your life essence. You don't live an eternal life like the other dragons, Seath. And you never will. Only 70 damage. Magic not good against him whatsoever. Be gone. Be 
we've done it. And a tail left behind of a little trophy. Let's read about um the albino Seath of Scaleless. Fragment of Loso discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Seath allied with Lord Gwen and turned upon the dragons, and for this he was awarded dukedom, embraced by the royalty and given a fragment of a great soul. Although just a piece, it still satiates the Lord Vessel. Perfect. And now all we have left is Isolith, and then we can start the DLC. Let's see how Crystal Magic Weapon looks on this weapon. Looks really goofy. A little hideous. But you know what? That's fine. We can live with that. We're not really able to do much about the Moonlight Greatsword yet. We don't even have the intelligence to use it, in fact. And it's weak, right off the bat. We're gonna have to find a way to strengthen it before even being able to use this power. It's faded. Next up, Isoleth.